Three, two, one. What is going on, Southwest ISD? What is going on? Welcome back to your number one stop shop for all things Southwest ISD athletics. My name is Brandon Medina, and I am here with your absolute favorite person of the district. The yeah. voice of athletics. There are already, the voice of reason. There are already the man, comments. The man, the there are already <laughs> comments going on. You should have punted at that one. Yeah. Why'd you go up for that? Or, no, the man who runs, do this. who runs 42 and 41, yeah. 80 times a game. <laughs> yeah. The man, the myth, the legend, <laughs> your athletic director, Mr. Peter Wagner, though. We are here having a fun time, man. How's it going, sir? It's going What a great hype, man. Listen. I got to hype you up. You, we we talked about, we, we might I be changing. Totally, I totally missed the ball with where we put you. We, <laughs> we should have just put you on the mic. On the mic. And, yeah, but just then let our, you like hype, man. Our wonderful board member James Gonzalez would mm-hmm. be able to have that gig. That, that's I true. had to give back that's to the true. community. No, no, he can still do the announcing. Can, you're just the, the hype, man. We yeah, have announcing and yeah. color now. Uh-huh. Yeah. There you go. No, you don't have to do the announcing. You're just the, you, you the hype color, man. but you're just the hype man. Gotcha. Welcome your Southwest Legacy Titans. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Like, it didn't sound hype enough, but I, I get no. what you were well, going for. Well, you, you know, know that's not my job. That's your job. I got you. Fair enough. But we have. I need to give a shout out right off the bat. Not to any kids. As I was walking out of my office today to come do this taping, okay. uh, Andy starts yells at me from he's taking tickets at the district swim meet and he's yeah. like, "Coach Wagner, where's the podcast?" And he's the and best. I was like, "I'm going right, right now, now, man!" Like you're like one of the only two people that listen and like we get and I was like Elsa the our uh, the, the fantastic lady at the front at the at the aquatic center. She's like, what do you mean? I listen to coach. I was like, all right, I'm going to send Here you a go. shout out. These shout two. out to Elsa Betancourt. <laughs> That's what she's, I'm she's about. the bomb. That's yep. what I'm talking about. Lots of love across. The yeah. I think we have more people that listen. And then if we think about the listeners, you and I will start yeah. have to pull back on the fun because then we get nervous. Right. Yeah, so right, yeah. you have to just go as we're if just, this we're is just, just doing this like we're chilling. This yeah. is it. This like is we're it. Just talk. Uh, well, not completely. Not but, completely yeah. chilling. <laughs> but uh, this is not a chill week at yeah, all. No, this is a busy, no. busy yeah, week. We're, it's, it's actually not bad. Next week is when it's like we start. We start rolling. Like, yeah. So uh, as you all know, we try to get to you Wednesday, Thursday. We're coming to you a little later. But it's because we have a lot of stuff happening. The district's moving. We have Penguin Project tonight How about um, the penguins man i can't wait to see oh, that tonight i'm gonna go out there i'm gonna go gonna awesome. do a little basketball and then head over there and watch the penguins it's gonna be awesome and uh where, where should we start you mentioned basketball should we just go so right let's, off the top? let's let's go in let's go by grade level order. sure let's go middle school so middle school so this week we got our big championship week for that second season yep and so we had some weather you know we decided to pour on us which shout out to the district for our turf fields because you know add right here but um because our baseball and softball teams all got to practice awesome. all week. Everybody else is trying to figure out how to swim on their baseball and softball field. We're out here taking ground balls. So yep. kudos to the district and everybody for uh, for supporting that. And I know uh, Coach Sanford's like gave me a hug. He's like, heck yeah, I just appreciate it. Yeah. So anyway, because of that weather, uh, we had to make a little some changes in our in our middle school stuff. But I want to give some some shout outs to those teams. So in middle school, what we do is we have. We have 20 teams, 21 teams in our conference. Mm-hmm. And so they're divided up into three zones. And so we take the top four teams out of each zone. Okay. They make the postseason tournament. Gotcha. So it's a 12-team tournament. So in the girls bracket, and it's a single elimination, it's like it's like March Madness. Nice. So you 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 win, win and, you, and you're in. You you win and you you move on. Win and move on. You lose, time to go to soccer or basketball. Gotcha. And so um so yesterday, I'm yeah, yesterday the SCOBY girls continue their eighth grade girls continue their in dominating dominating run this year in that uh both their A and their B team Goodness. made it to the made it to the semifinals. So they gotta win two nice. games to win the win another championship at SCOBY. But shout out also to the seventh grade girls at McAuliffe, um, who also made it. We had a we had a, a team from McNair make it and into the uh, into the postseason in the girls basketball brackets and stuff and so um kudos to them but uh good luck on saturday uh for the uh, to the scoby tigers for uh to compete for those championships and yep. stuff and then in soccer that's where we kind of got hit by by the weather and everything so yep. we had the eighth grade boys from mcauliffe we had um seventh eighth grade at resnick we had um a team from scoby 
who who was tied for second and got bumped out because they lost to Loma Alta. And so what happened was we had to eliminate that first round, so we only took the top two teams. So we only took six instead of 12. Wow. And they're playing three. Th- if you win the championship, you got to play three games on Saturday, and we're playing the eighth grade here at Southwest High School. And so um, – we had two teams make that right now. But we had a whole bunch more. The the McAuliffe eighth grade boys, we had the Resnick kids, um, and Scobie all made it in the top three or four. Yeah. But uh the two teams, seventh and eighth grade boys from McNair, are both uh were both one or two in their in their respective zones. And they will the eighth grade boys who I think were undefeated last year, seventh graders, will play here gotcha. at Southwest High School um tomorrow morning, starting at nine o'clock. And so Big old Fandango here at uh, the complex. You got middle school, boys middle school soccer, and a full day of softball going on at uh, Southwest. Busy, busy weekend yeah. here at Southwest. Busy Highest. week, busy, busy weekend. And uh, so congratulations to those teams. Yeah. And good luck to those teams playing tomorrow. Absolutely. Look forward to coming back next week and giving everybody the uh, – Shout outs for – The shout outs and, and, make, and then we those that win the championships, we're going to have some partners on the podcast. Yes, exactly. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. More championships and more great runs for our middle schools, man. Our middle schools really set that tone. That's where you always talk about. That's where that excellence kind of begins, right? Mm-hmm. That, that That's where you set in not only the, the energy and the expectation, but you also set hopefully some good uh, boundaries and some good things to learn from as you continue yep, on yep. Uh, through high school. Build some fundamentals and good habits. Exactly, exactly. That's all we're about. So we're excited for that. Uh, when it comes to the high school level, sir, I know we have some recognitions in the aquatic center right so, there. So we had our we we have a very um, special diver, Aiden Diaz, who is actually right now swimming in the di- in the district. Goodness gracious! In the district, as uh, we speak. Yeah, as we speak, he's swimming right now. But on um, on Wednesday night and into Thursday, because of the weather. Uh, he competed as a diver. We had two divers, one from Legacy, um, Aiden Diaz, and we had and we had Kaylee Villa from South from Legacy. And uh, but Aiden got second overall, and is qualified to go to regionals. Wow. He's also, if he does what he does, if he just does Continues his thing, his thing yeah. he'll be our first one to ever go to state. Wow. And I think possibly. In anything, in, in when it comes to aquatics, and that would be in the past it, two years, mm-hmm. three years that the aquatic center has been. No, I'm talking about like. No, I know, but I'm saying just yeah, in that short just time. Just in that short time, like, like here he, we he's are. a sophomore. Yeah, here we yeah. are going to state. Mm-hmm. And possibly. so, possibly yes. And then, uh, and then we had Kaylee Villa from Legacy, Legacy, who's the very first diver to ever go to region to regional. So in wow. Southwest ISD, we've had three divers ever commit, ever make it to regionals. Yeah, Journey Rigs in twenty. I think it was 2017, something like that. Um, still have the picture here. And then we have, uh, and then you got Aiden and Kaylee. Wow. And so big time things there. We got all kinds of kids. We, I, I was talking to Coach Moore before I came over here and from, from Southwest, and I was talking to Coach Fernandez. Like, broke, we broke more records. We had a freshman break the school record who was, oh. in, who was in our middle school program last year when we just started it. Never really swam a whole lot. Went to the middle school program, committed to a club, swam on our club team at the aquatic center, broke the school record as a freshman, wow. and stuff like that. Our um, our medley team um, from Southwest broke the school record. Has been been around for a while. Um, got a lot of kids going to regionals already, and that and that was that. We still had like four events to go, and and that's kind of the point of why the district and why you and all of the great leadership kind of push for this aquatic center was to mm-hmm. open up opportunities like this. And we're seeing it pay dividends very quick. So I want to tell you the story of Kaylee Villa real fast, Go and we'll it. move on. Kaylee Villa is in our C, is was in Coach Spain and was in Coach Spain hours CCR class, Career and College Readiness class, with all the other swimmers. Sure. So Coach Spain hours like, Kaylee Villa, who are you? Like, do you swim? No, they just put me in here. And we're like, well, do you want to swim? And she's like, well, I mean, I okay. Oh, wow. And did not do it. Started diving, going to regionals as a diver. Here we go. And stuff one just of recruited only three them out. And let's go. One yeah. of only three ever. Never even. <laughs> but it all started at it. with a CCR. And class. it all started with just being put in a CCR. Hey. Talk about serendipitous, right? Come on. Like, Come on. 
Come on. Sometimes it's all it's all about timing and placing, man. I just used like a five syllable word on you, and it's just like I don't even think you caught it. Here, here's my thing. Here's my thing. Serendipitous. Be, as a as a professional communicator, right? I'm mm-hmm. used to hearing the big words. Oh. You know what I mean? I'm yeah. used to hearing these words. Okay. All right? Yeah. Now, mm-hmm. as a coach, you were definitely not throwing <laughs> serendipitous out there on the field. That's for sure. Um, but there were some other five syllable words. I'm sure they were. I don't serendipitous. Not all of them were. Not all of them were five syllables. Yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but talk to us. Uh, you know, great things are happening at the Aquatic Center, but we have also history being made everywhere. It feels yeah. like. I mean, yeah. you got we talk about basketball. We just yeah. had Dr. Basketball Ball. Basketball continues their role. Yeah, and, and Dr. Ball went stopped by Legacy today, brought some canes through to the students. Mm-hmm. Uh, she's been doing yeah. that constantly throughout the year to every yeah. every program I eventually went to see Dr. Ball and hopefully get fed mm-hmm. and see all that stuff. But she yeah. she specifically highlighted one student that we want to highlight here on the on the yep. show as well. Yeah. So Kira Kira Martinez. Mm-hmm. Um, is our leading scorer uh, all, time. all time at, at Legacy. I mean, like, we, not a long time, but, but still, still that's time. a big time. Yeah, yeah, I mean, like, we've had some people come through here. And, um, I mean, when you take, like, Ashley and those guys who came through, she's she's done it longer. And so um, we're recognizing her tonight at the Southside game, which is a that's big awesome. game yeah. um, for seeding and things like that for them. And um, so they're doing that before our game. Tonight, game starts at 6.30, so that'll be around 6, 6.15. Yeah. Somewhere in there, excited about that. You know, and, and staying on that, staying on the girls' basketball trek, you know, uh, Legacy comes out, beats win um, last Tuesday, which was huge, and we talked about that a little bit. Yep. And then we talked about they got to get that sweep and that whoever gets the, the split and the sweep is the team that's going to be in the driver's seat. Well, Legacy comes out in fire and armor. Yep. At Southwest and just kind of put. I'm not. Gonna, I, there's there's really Dominates. no way to do it. I mean, it was domination. Yeah. I mean, a 30 point win, something like that. So, um, so they are in the driver's seat now for just win the games you're supposed to win, and they'll at least yeah. be the fourth seed in the playoffs. So, kudos to them from you know they won two or three games last year, mm-hmm. three and in district to growth. to being to being there. Yeah, good growth. Same thing for the Dragons. It's just they got a they they they're a little off. Right. You know what I mean? And so, um. So the dragons are still in it, but they're gonna need help. Yeah, you know, and um, and so tonight they both the dragons got a very a, a game they need to win because they play Medina Valley and Ooh, at, at, at Medina Valley, Man. Um, and then the and the and the the Titans, Titans. the Titans are playing Southside like we mentioned, yeah. and that's a big one because if they can get that win and get the split, and then they can knock one off, they can they can try to really. St- instead of cement holding off the, they can bit. cement the driver's seat but then they can start chasing south side for that third spot so you don't have to play the number one seed gotcha in the in the next in the in the playoffs that makes so. sense that makes sense and i think uh you know one thing that i'm excited i was i got excited about you know dr ball is is the leader of our district right now mm-hmm. and as a great superintendent she's been uh she kind of got got the girls hyped up too and she was just giving them food she said hey you know um all of you have uh, resources with you and you know she mentioned Previously, you know, seeing other teams go to state, and she was like, "How bad do you want it? How bad?" Like she was just started hyping them up, and I was like, "Oh, okay, here we go, Doctor Ball." And she was like, "You know, put in that work, put in that effort." And yep. she mentioned that she was at the game against Southwest, and so mm-hmm. she was like, I've, "I've seen the talent you all have." So it was really, mm-hmm. really cool to see uh, the ladies get really energized by your superintendent. That's not something yeah. you see all the time. Yeah, right? they're not, superintendents are very busy. They're not yeah. able to come and give yeah. speeches every day, but mm-hmm. it was really cool to see that. Um, and so. Talk to us about on the boys' side. Southwest is still man. How exciting the boys' side is great. is. It's a very special year. Yeah. Um. Obviously for the for the dragons. I mean, they're twenty. What a twenty something, and they're heading to the mid twenties. And, and three. you said we haven't and, seen a, a season and, like this. No, and I don't think that. I don't. We've never. No, they're they've already had the greatest start. Surpassed, and, and, right. Yeah, they've surpassed the best start in, in school history, and everything. But um, the the thing about them is. You know, you look at uh, they hit twenty threes on Tuesday. Oh my goodness! Twenty threes, right? And um, and they scored ninety nine points in regulation. <laughs> regulation. We're putting up NBA numbers. Regulation, sir. Yeah, I mean, and and there's just so many uh, things. You know what? But was the the fire and armor game kind of backing up a little bit? The fire and armor game on Friday was it was really entertaining because the Titans came out and like. It was fast. It was like watching. Yeah. I mean, it was like tum, 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 tum. they're just going back and forth. Wasn't real pretty the whole time, but um, but big shots being made, things like that. Um, but like the highlight of the game, you talked to all the coaches. Uh, Josiah McDonald hit; he got one off the rim and tomahawked it. Like you know how you play twenty-one tippins, yeah. where you got to catch it in the air and shoot it, and that's how you knock people out. That's what happened. Tomahawk man just went. 
caught it and then brought it from like behind his back trying and, just, to join a dunk contest. Wah, yeah. and dunked it and i was like yeah he could have won a dunk contest on it and it was like took the air out of the room like whoa that yeah. just happened and um but lots of it was a good game you know what i mean there a lot of a lot of good stuff and so the dragons are really in the driver's seat i mean they're it's a matter of how well do they handle success and then how well do they how do they focus on themselves because as you look forward like coach sanchez and and uh, coach stewart and i were talking you know playoffs a little bit and you know they'll get the four seed out of more than likely They're, they got a two game lead right now so all they really got to do is take care of a few more games and yeah. and they'll take care of the one seed so they'll play the four seed out of that saisd um district which they should they they'll be heavy favorites the key is the second round, yeah. and and the and the and the purpose for that is when you look at the other districts. So the the Austin district will play the um, will play Wagner Vets gotcha. those guys right, and so if they win, that second round is where it's at. So if you look at the standings or the 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 rankings in in uh, San Antonio, you know you got number one Brennan, but then you got number two Vets. Well, Vets beat. Uh, Bernie champion by about seven, six or seven points. Oh, wow. Something like that. It was a pretty close game. And so then you got, and then you got New Braunfels, who we beat is four or five. And then we're at six. Gotcha. And then Bernie champion seven. And then Wagner's eight. I mean, just, so, just that alone. So, I mean, Bernie so champion the four is teams, a very well known the, athletic. Correct. It's to be and ahead so, of that. And so we would get the second, the second place team, which right now, if Bernie champion or Wagner ended up second, if they beat that third place team out of Austin, then that second round game is between us and Bernie Champion or us and Ooh, Wagner. Man. And so tough game. If you can win that game, then you got a shot at making the regional tournament. And at that point in time, hey, it's all it's, it's all up in the it's air. It's all it's, up in the yeah. air. Well, basketball point. is one of those games and you you've seen it yourself coach where anything can happen well, and, at any And these guys point. if if the Dragons are hot. Yeah. At the if, right time. If if the Dragons are hot on the right night, they're they, they're a state type team. Yeah. You know what I mean? If they're not, then it just depends on how well how they take care the of their best. Yeah, yeah, how hot the other team is and how well they take care of the basketball and do the and, other and things. That's, and that's the thing. With any sport, I guess uh, you can say it, but I feel like basketball specifically, um, with football you have good drives, right? Mm -hmm. When you have uh, golf, you have good holes. When mm -hmm. you have anything like that, right? But with basketball, you can go on good runs in two minutes and flip that script of that yeah. game yeah. very, very quickly. And that's the thing about if you take a – so take the win – take a couple of games, right? But – Take the win game, for instance. The Dragons caught out 18 to 0. And then they turned around and it was like it was 50 to 42 at halftime. Wow. At the win game, right? Yeah. When they went down to win. And then at the end of the game, they end up winning by 30 and 99 69. You know what I mean? But they had a 30 point Give up third game, quarter. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, like, they can have an eight point quarter and they can have a 35 point quarter. Right. It's just like, I mean, it's just a matter of how they do it. And so you look at the Harlan, the Harlandale game where we had to take care of some things. Um, they won by twenty five, and and there was and and they were dealing with other things, and and they still were. I mean, they hit everything. Yeah. And so when you get Travis Hewn and AJ and Janai and those guys, when the other guys get hot that can shoot, over, over. yeah, yep. And and don't leave out the Titans because the, the loss, the South Sand took a loss to Medina Valley. The the Titans are sitting there in that second third spot right now, crazy for, for a. For going into the playoffs too, so it's very, very. In fact, it's more probable. You know how they all do all the probability right, stuff right. that the that Southwest ISD has three out of four basketball teams in the playoffs this year, and the um, and then you know in soccer you might have four. Yeah, you know, so you're well, looking, a good, it's looking a pretty cool. Talk to yeah. us about kind of soccer and expectations, yeah. how that's going. Soccer's in the dead period a little bit right now. They they you know the the Dragons Weather got a big win. Too. Two, last Tuesday they got they both teams both boys teams got a big win. Um, the the Dragons beat Alexander, a perennial really good team. They beat them five zero. Oh wow! And so that was a that was pretty cool statement game. Stuff. Right there. Yeah, kind of kind of like a good get ready going to district kind of yeah. game, right? And then uh, and then the the Titans got a good win over Fox Tech. I think it was like four one, something like that. Like and they're dealing with a little bit of some injuries, and so uh, this is kind of that healing week. So they played on Tuesday. 
they start district next Tuesday, so they all kind of everybody get your legs under you and get well, ready you to go. go. When we come back next week, we'll have some, some we'll more have soccer a lot updates. More stuff. Yep. And uh, then the girls lost to United. Legacy girls lost to United last night, and then the dragon, the Lady Dragons, play tonight against YWLA. Gotcha. Okay. So good things there. Good things there, and then softball, sir. Softball Fandango turf, tomorrow. Hey, hey, uh, we turf got fields. Warren thank, thank, turf. thank the Lord that we, we got. We one. already got people calling us to use the turf fields. Yeah, like yeah. we ain't ready for you yet. Yeah, and we, uh, we got to play on it. We, we ain't even played on it. Yeah. yeah. So uh, at the at Southwest, you got uh, we got the Dragons are taking on Perennial Powerhouse Warren. Nice. And then uh, East Central and and uh, oh. we got a big old we got a we got a big old uh, scrimmage there. And then at at Legacy, because we have turf. Ended up moving the scrimmage back to Legacy, so we're playing at home because of the rain and everything, and they're playing Somerset and uh, Sotomayor. Nice. And so we're d- getting that kind of getting big, all that big done. tests for both schools yeah. then out the gate. Mm-hmm. Out the gate on those turf fields. Yeah, be- I will say this: I did uh, my Beyond the Arches segment on Legacy uh, softball, and we went mm-hmm. on uh, Wednesday or Tuesday, one of the two, and it was uh, it was drizzling a little bit. Mm-hmm. Those balls are. Flying on that turf, those mm-hmm. ground balls. Are yep. just, I was like, Whoa. and it's made to it's made to play r- real. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, there's a whole lot of science that goes into how that that infield was put in. Yeah, but um, it's beautiful, man. Yeah. It looks incredible. It lo- I mean, when you go to a game like that and you see that turf field, it feels the the environment becomes a lot more competitive. And, and wait until we get the video board yeah. up oh, too, yeah. and that thing's going with the sound system rolling. It's be gonna like be crazy, be like being at a triple A ball game. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. Uh, anything else that you want to talk about, sir, before we get out of here? No, I can't. I think that uh, just good luck to everybody, and we got we got track track meet. The Joe Mars Dragon relays is next Wednesday. Damn. So so we we are rolling. That's a classic. We are, classic. We are rolling huge. Um, this is the time of year where you're gonna have you you will see a soccer game, a basketball game, and a track meet with some baseball. We will have on a night where day. where on the same day. You you got you got four things going on at the same place in all athletic events. And before we get out of here, I want to ask you about that. So, as athletic director, what is that? What is that like? Is this like you just kind of it's run the, around like like the, a chicken the, the, head the, cut the, off? The, the cause you? of many gray hairs and uh, <laughs> not not quite. It's not quite as as much as coaches dealing with teenagers, but yeah. um, but it is it is quite frenetic yeah. and stuff. And wow, another man. one for you, Andy. Man. If you're tuning you know in, what? I think he's doing this for you. There's no, there's yeah. no, yeah. And, there's and no is, need. I just want you to think that I know big words. There's no way that this guy's speaking <laughs> like this out in the public. There's no way. I mean, what's up, James? Because James is the only one. We always got to shout out James shout and out James. Andy. Shout out to our boys. Yeah, uh, but yeah. we appreciate. All of you tuning in and making this uh, your premier destination for all Southwest ISD athletics. Realignment on Thursday. Get Realign- ready. Oh. New districts come out on Thursday, so New. we'll have some. It'll, we'll talk more about that next week coming into. So it, realignments but. on Thursday. So should we do our show on Thursday so we can kind of talk about that fallout? Well, we, we won't because I have, we don't fall, find out until Thursday. Oh, so gotcha. We'll do okay. we'll we'll do the like what we think. Cool. You can do some a research pre-draft too. show a little pre-draft. A, pre, a little pre a little pre realignment what we think and then. Then we'll see how we came so, out. So definitely, though, possibly some new ain't schools. No, ain't going to be no more. You ain't going to see Medina Valley anymore. The Panthers are going up. Okay. okay. Where they're going, I don't know. Yeah. Get ready for Someone's a little. Someone's coming in. Get ready for a little uh, Jay Mustang action. Oh, possibly, a little John back. Jay. All little right. John Jay come back. Battle of Marbach. The Battle of Marbach. I'm just going to say Let's that. Go. The Battle of Marbach. <laughs> uh-huh. Our thought good is versus y'all's thought yeah. good is. Uh-huh. We're ready to roll. Yes, I'm ready. Sir. That's yep. awesome. That's going to be a fun time. But we'll yep. talk about realignment, soccer. Coming up next week, Joe Marsh relays, of course, basketball, mm-hmm. softball, all that and more coming up next week. Everything. So much. Let's this go. is the best time to be a fan, best time to be a listener. Thank you for tuning in. This has been Scoreboard. Good I'm luck, Brandon Tigers. Medina. Good luck, challengers, tomorrow. I'm Brandon Medina. That's Peter Wagner. And for all of us here, as we always end the show, we are Southwest. Southwest.